Hello everyone. Welcome to Scorpion Venom Studio Games, and this is my office. I will be working on development of this area in this new playlist on my YouTube channel. I want to quickly give you a tour. Let's go ahead and uh, check out some of these rooms. Uh, first, we have a security room over here, right by the elevators where you will be coming in. Uh, this is going to be supported for online as well. Hopefully, I will get a chance to meet you guys in a first person or, or VR. Uh, here we have some of the cubicles that will be used for all the devs that have contributed over this game. I would like to dedicate some of these areas for them with their names, logos, and some of their work that they have done and that I, the projects that I've used for my game and the company itself. And there's quite a lot of cubicles to go through. Uh, as of right now, they have not been touched, but I will get to them once I get a chance. Uh, we have quite a lot of decals on the floor here that will have to get cleaned up. Uh, in this area, we have a section where you can hang out with friends or anyone that you meet in this area or in this office. You'll be able to watch some TV and things like that, hang out and talk. Over here, we have a playroom. I'm going to give you a quick tour over here as well. It's a small section for right now, but hopefully I can expand soon. We have a ping pong table. Now, hopefully you can play this in VR or first person. And then same over here, we have a pool table and then we have a foosball. A couple of them set up in the back there that, uh, again, hopefully we can expand some of these walls to make a little bit more room here and bring in a little bit more lights. And in the corner here, we have a wine rack. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Hopefully everything will be in interactive in the future. Let's go ahead and step out and check out our cafe section here. We have a couple areas where you can sit down and enjoy the meals. We have a coffee bar and extra wine. So there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to get changed. We have another a corner couch here with a pretty cool view to the outside. We have some vending machines and a couple other things around here that uh, will be changed as well. Let's go ahead and check out another section for designers section. I will be keeping this area the way it is. I actually like the way it's been set up and I think it's going to be used for some of the designers in the future who wants to design their own uh, 3D models for the game where you guys will be able to access some of the functions for the engine and build your own 3D models. But again, this is going to be a big project that I would like to put some effort into making it happening, but it's not going to be happening anytime soon, but this is just an idea that I can, what I can use this for. Uh, some of the areas, of course, are going to get cleaned up and we'll open up a little bit more space for you guys to walk around. We have some of the offices that have these glass walls and you can see into these offices. I would like to clean them up a little bit and I will be displaying some of the 3D characters that will be introduced in the game in the future as an AI. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to be able to see them through the glass doors, maybe they'll perform some animations. Some of them are going to be worked on similar to the TV show like The West World. And uh, I like the idea of these glass walls for the offices. Uh, on the left side, we have the guest section here where you can also hang out and uh, enjoy some time with your individual friends and whoever you meet. Uh, we'll have like a somewhat closed off section here. So that way you're a bit more cozy. In this section that I'm going through, it's more of like a hallway and it splits and it lets you get to different sections without going around. Very useful. So you can go from the playroom straight into the library and then from here into the guest area. And some of the 3D artwork that has been placed on the walls will be kept and some of it's going to get replaced. I'm going to go back to the beginning where I started off to show you another section over here we have a corner section that will probably be repurposed later down the road maybe this will be used as a some sort of uh, market access to whatever i will come up with uh, but as of right now it's going to be unoccupied and will remain the way it is 
Over here we have a big office uh, with the glass walls. And uh, to get there, you'll have to go through the section where we have library, or you can, of course, get access to the back and you can go through the door here. Now, unfortunately, there is not enough room to walk around here, so I might have to relocate this office elsewhere and I will do maybe another display here or maybe I can convert this to my personal office. I'm not 100% sure yet, depending on where I want to be at, but it seems like it's quite large section. And I don't think I'll be spending too much in the office, but I will be interacting with you guys quite often when I'm here. Uh, but this is a conference room, so I do still want to have one of those, but not in this area. And again, I might convert this to a section for demonstration of some of the 3D models and things like that. Now here we have a pretty modern library section that uh, has been set up here and uh, I would like to change quite a lot of stuff here and get rid of some of these tables and a little bit make it more much more comfortable I have quite a lot of different books but unfortunately you can't read them hopefully I will be able to set it up in a way where you can actually access some of the real books from stores uh, but again this is going to be a, a big uh, project in development in the future. I think that's going to be possible. Now, if not, of course, not anytime soon, but that's going to be an idea for you guys where you can virtually sit here and read the books. Or if any of you guys are writers, maybe you'll be you'll get a chance to write your own books and then store them in here. Or maybe some books that I'll be able to buy through Unreal Engine Marketplace and then store them in here and then you'll get access to it. So you'll have some sort of a library to read through in the future. Another one, we have a uh, Team D over here section for uh, designers as well. Hopefully uh, we can uh, change a couple of things around here. Maybe I'll even place something else instead of uh, these computers. Maybe there's going to be some sort of uh, a section that's dedicated to more 3D modeling. Uh, you know, different uh, sections will be split up and changed uh, accordingly. So because so, there are certain things that are not necessary so like let's say we have printers in here which as of right now will be completely useless in uh, this office uh, but again it kind of brings that feel like it is an actual office but in virtual reality um, we'll have to think that we even still need them or not in this area right here we have more offices and what i like about those we have three sections on each side uh, and they're all um, you can walk into all of them and check them all out. We have, some, you know, personal refrigerators, closets, uh, sh some shelves and offices with tables and chairs. Now, they're all different. And I am thinking on keeping some of them. So that way, you know, maybe you can have your own private rooms to just hang around and uh, enjoy some time. But some of those will get converted as well. I like how that one has a safe. It uh, looks like a, a one of the important offices in this section but again uh, you know I like the look of this and again maybe this is going to be for display of some sort and maybe we can even expand this as we build uh, this office area now these glass doors can open and close now there are some issues with reflection it's a uh, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that or not but it's uh, kind of have this <laughs> A reflection or not even I don't know it's just flickering non-stop and uh, the other thing I've noticed over here we have uh, somewhat a mirror reflection but when you come to it it's just a clear glass but if you're really close to it you can see that the wall uh, almost shifts to the side or it looks like it is and has a reflection of uh, the library so hopefully some of the stuff can be fixed around later as well. Now the other section I didn't mention was we have Team C here and just a bunch of cluster that can be cleaned up a little bit and make it a little bit more organized. Uh, next we have bathrooms. Uh, we have a female bathroom and a male bathroom. Now uh, I will probably dedicate in a way where only men can walk into here and obviously females can go into women's bathroom. Now, of course, you don't really need them in VR, but uh, to get a little bit more immersive and since they come with the office, uh, you know, we're going to keep those in here. And there's a couple things that will need to be changed and uh, fixed. Uh, some of the mirrors 
don't really have 100% uh, reflection. And again, depending on what kind of graphics card you have, uh, and if you know if it supports RTX, we can probably even do a real-time rendering and things like that. But uh, the woman's bathroom is similar to this one, has a thing, almost similar amount of uh, toilets, but uh, obviously nothing on the walls. Now, over here it says the managers, which pretty much goes around and gets, gets you access to all of these doors for all the offices that we have in this section. Now, over here you have also a pretty cool view to the outside. Uh, this is where all the fun is going to be happening. We'll have outside sections for sitting down and uh, nothing else, really. Uh, we have couple uh, locations that could be set up as a bar and I think what I'm gonna end up doing here is uh, taking all of this junk out of here and uh, placing a either spiral stairs or just expanding this out and giving it getting access to the top we're probably gonna set up some bar over here so you can order your drinks and you're gonna have a pretty awesome view to the really cool landscape that I have in mind to set up. We're also going to have some futuristic buildings set up, at, you know, in the landscape. And also in this section over here, we're probably going to end up knocking down this wall right here uh, in, in this area. And then we'll get access to that platform as well. It's pretty big. It's almost the size of this entire office. And then you'll be able to enjoy uh, more space out there. But let's go ahead and exit out this level and i'm going to zoom out so you can kind of see what this office actually looks like as a model we have a pretty big section over here that's still available for um, having access and play so that means i'll just have to take some of these walls out and it's pretty cool if you uh, think about it pretty much all the items can be individually picked and moved around and i believe even to a single individual uh, teacups and uh, you know, pretty much anything in this office can be moved around, uh, dragged around, changed, even to, you know, individual bottles. So it's not like it's a one static mesh. Everything is uh, set separately, except for, like, let's say glasses, you know, that's one static mesh. But those things can be fixed and adjusted as we develop the game. Uh, there is, like I said, a lot of stuff that can still be changed. All the decals for the floors and things like that can be moved around and Eventually, once it's going to be supported by VR, you'll have access to, uh, you know, use these objects in the game and move them around, interact with them. And hopefully in the future, I'll get a chance to even set it up where you'll have access to, let's say, maybe even YouTube, where you can watch YouTube videos on the TV here. Maybe we can even make it uh, bigger. Pretty cool stuff about this. <laughs> you know, you can always um, make your items quite larger which is uh, not something you can do in real life but here we go now we got a much bigger uh, TV screen size and I can probably make it so that way it is actually sitting right on top of this uh, platform here so let's go ahead and drop it on the bottom so that way I can drag it from here oh the reason it's doing that is because our um, here we go. So I should be able to move it now much better like that. Here we go. It was the set position grid snapping value was at 10 instead of one. But yeah, so now we have a little bit of a bigger screen TV size. And again, uh, this hallway is gonna get dedicated to uh, some of the really cool 3D uh, items that I have for the game. And again, there will be some story behind it and uh, we can always expand this. So I can always take a wall and you know, if I were to hide it, we can always expand it out farther out and duplicate some of these cubicles. The more people, you know, participate in the game, the more cubicles I'll add up and what they have done and um, more areas to explore. So maybe there's going to be extra floors you can go through and uh, just create a big area where all of you guys can hang out as a multiplayer support platform. Uh, just to kind of have fun before stepping in and actually playing my video game. Uh, and there will be more of a, like, let's, let's say this office right here will have a humongous um, section or, or like a chair where you step in and then you can you know, pretty much uh, be put into an avatar. 
where you will be playing a particular match so you'll have a, a chance to like choose a different type of gameplay you will have a match available in uh, an arena for like a roman um, culture and style where you'll be able to fight as like as a gladiator and things like that or you'll be able to play the island that i'm currently developing so there's going to be a lot of possibilities and availability for you in the future through this uh, virtual office and again uh, i want to set this up uh, similar to the concept of like assassin's creed where you would step in and uh or lay down and then you'll get access to some of the memories and then be transported you know virtually to another level of the gameplay but here this is going to be multiplayer so that way you can just interact with friends um, you know meet other people uh, i don't know if, uh, how much of the limit of how many players is going to be set here but and that's something will be determined in the future right now what i want to do is set up the actual buildings and put this into one of the buildings that's going to be part of and also add the landscape you know some of the actual sounds and uh, visual for the outside as well and then then we're going to start moving a couple things uh, a couple items around here to make it uh, easier to walk around and get rid of some of the stuff that i don't want to have in the game but yeah i just f thought i would um, give you a quick look at it we have over 3719 actors to go through so i'm gonna have quite a lot of work that needs to be done around here but it's okay it's gonna be um, tweaked and changed quite for quite some time uh, and here's a quick demonstration on how i can expand this so i can even take this wall out and let's see if i were to get rid of it and obviously get rid of all the pictures i can move the furniture out of the way and then i can create a transition here where you will be able to come in this hallway so it's going to be a lot of stuff that can be easily moved around duplicated and added and of course at the top here we're going to set up some swimming pools uh, more you know games that you can guys play and, and you know just enjoy um, a scenery really and uh, again there's really nothing to look at at the moment but hopefully in the future it's going to be set up in a way where uh, it's more of a futuristic sci-fi type of uh, environment and uh, i can't really wait to show uh, what's going to look like and what is on my mind that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, definitely check out this project if you guys want to buy this on the marketplace i will show you real quick uh, who made this and it has been created by 1d studio and you can find them on unreal engine marketplace and it's available for the engine 419 through 425 uh, there's not that many reviews yet but i will be definitely leaving my review once i am I'm going to upload this video and obviously start setting everything up. And it says that about VR, although I don't have a chance to test it on VR, there should be any problem for better decision. Uh, it's a video from the environment with FPS and GPU information on the screen. So we can look at that as well. But over here, you have different videos you can view. And this uh, environment includes 18 different spaces with uh, equipment related to that environment. And... Uh, Again, it lists pretty much all the rooms that I just kind of went through. And uh, we have different manager rooms and things like that. Uh, it requires, uh, right here, there's, I guess, specifications for um, the project, which I'm kind of surprised that he actually listed this or they listed this. Uh, but you can kind of get an idea. We have a, some of the technical features. So mo all the models are in 4K. And we have over 800 square meters with all uh, sections and high quality equipments and uh, optimization for from almost any usage uh, for games and architectural projects and things like that. But here is some of the in other information for the vertex counts for each of the models. And most of them are about 3000 or, or less. Uh, there is no LODs, which is, you know, it's gonna probably take me some time to uh, create LODs for those, which is, you know, no big deal. It's just gonna take me some time. But we have over 268 different meshes and quite a lot of different materials and instances, over 253. Uh, you have 11 materials and 142 material instances that you can go through, uh, over 564 different textures. And all of these textures are 4k 2k and 1k and it's for windows mac obviously for ps4 xbox and so on 
and I'm very excited about this. I'm glad I got this project. Uh, definitely worth the money. And uh, this is something I've been waiting for. Oh, and by the way, this was the original image right here of the world. And I have changed it to uh, my personal logo. So there's a lot of stuff that you can change. And same goes over here. I've put my little logo there. I don't know if you noticed when I was uh, kind of floating around. That's why it says I got to rebuild the lighting because I just added that and I have to rebuild the lighting. But yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff you can change. Like you can even, uh, you know, disable all these decals, change them to whatever you want to. Uh, lots of work that's been put into this. A very um, dedicated, you know, and time consuming to actually put all this together and uh, very creative. I think it's very immersive. Uh, like again, there is quite a lot of stuff that can be moved around, changed around, duplicated, uh, resized, you know, and then you can create anything else out of these uh, 3D models. I mean, even clothing is individual items here that's hanging down. So again, uh, I'm going to be cleaning some of those offices areas and hopefully if the developers of the projects that I am using in the game uh, will give me their permission, I will be listing them in here as well. And then who knows, maybe in the future you will have some sort of access to the computer and um, I don't know, we'll see what, what can you do on that later down the road. But again, there's quite a lot of lighting uh, for all of these pictures. So we'll definitely have to play around with this and set everything up. But I do like the layout of it, very comfortable to walk around it. Uh, there are some areas that I could not walk through, uh, like in this area because of the space. But once I start expanding some of the stuff out, there should be no problem. So I definitely recommend look, looking into this if you're interested in getting your personal office. But I think for virtual reality, I think this is an amazing project. And I can't wait to expand this. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you in the next video. And as always, I want to thank everybody for watching my YouTube channel. Thank you for all the subscriptions. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe. And click the notification bell button to be notified every time I upload a video regarding Unreal Engine and my game development. See you guys.